the waiting is over, we present the brand new Strong Leap S3. What the new box can do, whether it is good enough, you will find out today. Stay tuned, we'll get. We've been waiting a long time for this, but now the new Strong Box, the Leap S3, is finally here. And we have the honor to test it first and would like to test the whole thing with you and see if. New box is worth it and whether it is really so much better than the Strong Leap S1. If you can. Remember the Strong Leap S1, we have also introduced it to you here on the channel. I have had the Strong Leap S1 for a year and am still as excited as on the same day about this box. Enough talking, let's take a look at the model and compare what the difference is between the two. As an important feature, we see that the box has now become smaller compared to the Leap S1. The Leap S3 has become significantly smaller and slimmer and that looks very, very good. Next, we notice that the on and off switch has disappeared here. This means that we no longer have a main switch, as well as the audio amplifier. This one is also no longer available and the infrared connection is also no longer available here. A USB port has disappeared, which means that we only have one for the Leap S3, there were two for Leap S2. In addition, there is no micro SD connection here. For this, more computing power as we can see here, but at the end of the video we will provide you both data sheets so that you can see the comparison. So we are already at the packaging content and look at what is packed here. First of all, we have a warranty card with the safety instructions. This was also included with the Leap S1. Of course, the quick start guide should not be missing here either. This is also included, as is. Remote control. It should be noted here that we now have a pure Google box. This means that we have the Leap S3. Google is operating system, which was more Android with the Leap S1. Here we have the remote control with the most important buttons, as well as an HDMI cable. This is included here. And of course, the power supply part should not be missing here. This is also included. And what you miss from many manufacturers of these Android boxes. Batteries. Strong also includes. So we are already at the installation and we will now demonstrate to you how fast this box is. So look at this, I select something here and it is immediately there. No matter how fast I scroll, is no jitter here, there is nothing here. The function is immediately there. Not much has changed during the installation. Only minimal changes have been added, but nothing has changed here. As I said, as with the Leap S1, you also have to connect to your network here, select your country. At the end you register here with your Google account. That was no different with the Leap S1. And when you have registered, you already have the. Here the interface looks a little different than with the Leap S1. One innovation that has been added is that you can now connect the remote control to your TV so. You can also control your device with the remote control. And there are different brands here. Here you choose the brand of your device, TV, soundbar, and then you can control it with the remote control. You can see how fast the installation was. This is our home page. It looks a little different than the Leap S1, but you can already see how fast the whole thing works. You also have categories here and you can even add your favorite shows to the media library, which not the case with the Leap S1. Applications can be started here in the shortest time. That means we start YouTube here and you can. It is open immediately. Let's try the whole thing with Prime. Also here immediately. Click on the next app once and it is. Open.
Let's take a quick look at the menu. What are the settings here? We'll go over the whole thing. There is still a detailed report. So with display we have, for example, if we go to the extended settings, even a game mode, HDR and can even allow the resolution here. The whole thing goes up to 60 Hz at 4K. So the box is also very suitable for playing. We'll show that later. We even have HDR, dynamic range and there are many options here. We can even select Dolby Vision. This is also possible. And as I said, that was for the display and sound. And here are additional options for the sound. Digital of course also has the box, an optical connection. Network 2.4 and 5 GHz, both are possible. The box supports both options. So you have both options here. These are the network settings, as I said. Here you also have the option of data saving mode. You set how much data you use. You should not have unlimited data with your provider. Then there are accounts. Here you can of course add an account and you can even add a child's. You can then limit this. You don't have to explain a lot about data protection. Here you have the option to set everything. The apps download. Yes, then we have the Google Assistant, the voice assistant. The box does have voice control. You can then set all permissions. Yes, security restrictions. Here, too, you can install apps from sources. For example, this is possible. As I said, we quickly fly through the menu and don't go through every point with you now. Streaming is an important point. You can stream your device here on the box. Unfortunately, as with Leap S1, it only works with Android and not with Apple or iOS devices. Unfortunately, this is not possible. As I said, it only works with Android. It is also clear that have a Google box and Android Google is used here as an operating system. So much for the menu. Our box has the voice assistant and we will now test whether it works really. Open YouTube. Open YouTube. Channel Windows Power. Open Oath Media Tech. Settings. I think you don't have to say more about it. You can see for yourself how great and fine the whole works. A great point is the Google Media Tech, and here you always have the latest films that you can watch. Of course, this is a paid service but I have everything at a glance and you can borrow or buy the films here. You have already pre-installed a lot of apps here and you can still install and download a lot of here. The box itself delivers impressive image quality and here is a video in 4K 60fps HDR and you can how fast the whole thing is and without jerking the box does it here effortlessly. I'll play it now and still, as I said, everything is there and the whole thing without jerking the S3 does it effortlessly. As with the Leap S1, you can also plug in a controller here with the new model and you can play games and the whole thing works great. You can see that here, I think, just as well. Everything runs smoothly here, without jerking, you set everything in the menu here in the game mode. Let's come to a conclusion. The Leap S3 has exceeded all my expectations. Here we have endless speed, the box runs smoothly here, it has become smaller, we have more. Power here, we have improved Bluetooth here. As I said, now we'll show you the differences before and after both datasheets so that you can. The whole thing. You can buy the box right away.
This is already available and varies from up to the moment it is at about 80 euros is not much if. Consider what you get a box for it. As I said, you make your TV smart. You should have a TV that is. Yet smart. We also link you to the link to the manufacturer. If you have any questions, use the comment. Subscribe to our channel, then you're always up to date. At this point, thank you again to the company Strong that we were the first to test it in the area. Technic Bao says thank you for watching and goodbye.